Hello everyone, I am Zach from The Focus Travel. Today in this video, I'm going to be trying five foods from Family Mart coming up. Alright, I'm Zach. Thank you for joining me back to uh, Focus Travel. And if you're new on this uh, channel, make sure you subscribe, hit that subscribe button, hit that notification bell for more videos here on Focus Travel. Okay, let's begin the food journey. So I'm gonna be starting with the bacon, um, potato, and Caesar dressing uh, wrap. Now, these are very, very delicious. I got these at Family Mart. I noticed that they started having more varieties of the wraps. Uh, which is awesome because I keep seeing the, the same one. Um, so I decided I was going to try a different one. And these are just uh, rich in Caesar dressing. Um, they are super delicious. Mm -hmm. Wow. That has a smoked bacon flavor to it. It's just amazing. Mm. I don't know about you, but I love Caesar dressing when it comes to wraps, when it comes to salads. It is just so good. One thing I've noticed about the food here in Japan is you don't find stale food. It's always fresh, and I think Japan does that for a reason, to, to uh, satisfy their customers. U.S., you can't find that. And so it's very sad, uh, but these Asian um, convenience stores are just incredible. Now, this is about 369 yen. That is not bad for four of these wraps. And these can easily fill you up because of the protein in the meat. Wow. Absolutely incredible. Mm. Another thing I've noticed about the uh, wraps here in Japan is Japan is not stingy when it comes to meat. There is a ton of bacon in this. There's a ton of lettuce and uh, carrots and Caesar dressing, it's really, really big. It's fat. And so it's gonna fill you up. Okay, so coming in, number two is cod roe. If you've never heard of cod roe, cod roe is basically fish eggs. Yes, this is bizarre, uh, but it's a very common food here in Japan. And I actually like eating it. Maybe it's because I've eaten so much of it. Uh, but this is it, and it's a seasoned cod roe, and this is the bread with cod in it. Um, so, this um, red tint, that is actually the cod roe in it. So, here we go. Mm -hmm. I think you have to have an acquired taste for this. Not a lot of people like cod roe. Uh, especially Americans. Japanese, on the other hand, crave cod roe. Now, cod roe has sort of like a, I guess, a spicy taste to it. But if you love trying bizarre foods, this is one I highly recommend when you come to Japan. Mm. I don't know if you know this, but roe is actually really expensive depending upon the kind of fish, of course. There's a freshwater fish uh, called the sturgeon. And uh, when the sturgeon reaches uh, a certain age, um, particularly when it gets really, really old, um, what happens is um, the fish eggs are uh, basically taken and they are sold. And it's unbelievable how much these things sell for. So we're talking about $30,000. and. Uh, when I was in the States, I went to a market uh, that was selling uh, sturgeon eggs and easily $5,000. Like, it's insane. 
Um, so when I started doing research on the row, I discovered that it's a very expensive uh, food. Pod row, on the other hand, is a different uh, texture. It's a different. It's a whole different ball game uh, when it comes to money. Now, I highly recommend you put this in the microwave. That's what I did. I put it in there for like 10 seconds and it is hot, very, very delicious. Highly recommend it. So this was 128 yen. Um, so very, very cheap for something like this. It's bread, um, pan in Japanese. Uh, so it's very, very delicious though. So coming in at number three is the they call it mintako. So this is basically cod roe again, um, except that this is in the form of a stick. Now I told you there's a lot of cod roe here in Japan. It's all in different shapes and sizes, and this is an example. So this is basically uh, is basically cod. So let's try this. Mmm. So you get that spicy taste from uh, from the cod. Um, it's very crunchy, very, very delicious. I actually love these sticks. Mm -hmm. If you want something to snack on, these right here are it. Now, what's interesting is there's a giraffe. <clears throat> and so I guess it represents the tall giraffe. But the uh, founders, Calby, and they've been making these things since 1995. That's a long time ago. Mm. Now, I highly recommend that you take a picture of that right there. Um, when you see them, um, you'll know exactly what they are, and you can replay the video. Um, but <clears throat> what I do is, when I don't know uh, what a Japanese uh, word is, I will pull out my phone and I will use Google Translate. And majority of the time, it works. Um, and so uh, there's actually an image translation. It just translates it. And uh, most of the time, it's pretty accurate. So when it comes to long conversations, absolutely not. Uh, but for images and, and short words, it's good. Okay, so coming in at number four is these right here. Now, when I first saw these, these are actually smoked cheese cubes. I was like, these have to be delicious. And when I opened the bag, there is that smoky flavor, um, aroma that came out. And here they are. And so these things look amazing. I gotta show you. Look at that. Okay, so let's try this. Mmm. Wow. Smoked cheese. That's exactly what these things are. All oh, these have a perfect smoky flavor to them. Mmm. It's like these things just came off of the uh, campfire. Oh, they're so good. <clears throat> these are bite-sized cubes and they are just delicious. Mmm, very soft. Wow. I got quite a bit in here too. I love Family Mart. It's just an amazing uh, place. But some of these packages, they don't have the prices on them. Um, so it's a little hard to know exactly how much you paid for. Wow, those were incredible. Okay, so coming in at number five is these right here. This is my dessert. So I gotta show you what these things look like. So these are the balls. 
These are the home pies is what they call them. Let's try this. Wow, these are amazing. This is like chocolate heaven right here. Mm. These are rich in chocolate. When you bite into them, it has that very uh, smooth taste to it. It's very soft. Mm. Okay, so that's five things from Family Mart here in Japan. Let me know which ones you would love to try or which ones you have tried. I am very curious to know. So I tried the uh, Mintako uh, snacks, which is basically Codro. Then I tried the Codro bread. I tried the, um, the dessert, the balls, the chocolate balls. And then I tried um, the bacon, potato, and Caesar dressing wrap. And then I also tried the smoked cheese and they were all phenomenal. And so I've been picking random foods from Family Mart and just doing videos on them and I love it. Well, if you like this video, give it a thumbs up. If you're not a subscriber, go ahead and hit that subscribe button for more food videos, drink videos, ice cream videos, and even travel videos here on The Focus Travel. Thank you for watching this video and I will see you in the next video. Have a good day.